Hi guys, today we're talking about purpose. Imagine playing a video game without focusing on any of the missions. We've all done that in GTA, haven't we? Using cheat codes to get unlimited weapons, to become invincible, to get explosive ammo and shoot up cop cars and choppers. It's fun man, there's no denying that. But now imagine playing a game where there are no missions in the first place. Where the entire point of the game is to just use cheat codes and fuck around. I give you two weeks. Two weeks maximum and you'll get bored of the game. You will not feel excited or happy playing the game anymore. In fact, you'll get sick of it. That is exactly what happens in real life. Where the drugs, the alcohol, the partying, these are the real life cheat codes. Cheat codes in the sense that they make your brain release dopamine when it shouldn't. That is as good a definition of instant gratification as I can come up with. You see, our brains and the included dopaminergic pathways have developed and evolved over thousands and thousands of years to perfection, if I may say so. See, our brain is supposed to release dopamine at two distinct times. One, when you're in pursuit of a goal and two, when you achieve a goal. Come to think of it, it really is an impeccable system. It's because of this reward pathway that humans are pushed, urged even, to go and put in the work. It's because of this that humans have been able to build colonies, civilizations, to make all these major technological breakthroughs. We've been to the moon and back, man, for fuck's sake. And it's all thanks to this reward pathway. Now the problem arises when humans figure out a way to get that dopamine hit without putting in the work. And that is a slippery slope to go down, man. Once your body gets used to getting the reward without putting in the work, how do you convince it to put in the work anymore? That is a deep pit to fall into. One that seems impossible to climb out of while you're in it. For the past 21 years of my life, I actively avoided adopting a purpose. I never tried to do well in my boards. I never tried to get into a good university. I never tried to do well once I got into said good university. I never tried to land a job. I never made it a goal to excel at any sport. I never made it a purpose to build my dream physique. I never even tried to become proficient at the instruments that I played, the keyboard and the guitar. You see, I had this concept ingrained in me, to my core. Thinking back, I think it was one of the strongest convictions I had and I don't even know how it came about. That working towards anything was uncool. Let me rephrase that. That having a purpose was uncool and that the way to live life was to not care about anything. I don't know if it was the fear of failure that kept me from trying in the first place or if I was just too lazy to care. But I distinctly remember taking pride in the fact that I tried the least at anything. You know, I'm not the kind of man who has regrets in life. I don't like to wallow in the past. I don't regret any of my bad grades. I don't regret any of the fucked up things that I did. I don't regret failing miserably at anything in life. The only thing I regret is this fucked up mindset that this little kid had ingrained in him without even realizing it. This is a major revelation I had by the way that I would much rather have set goals all through my life and failed miserably at all of them. That if there's one thing I could have changed about my younger self it would be to have him set goals and aspirations all through his life even if it meant that all the outcomes would remain the same, even if it meant that I would be sitting in this exact place today. So you see, I'm not preaching about purpose from the point of view to sacrifice your today for a better tomorrow. I'm saying that having a purpose today will make your today so much better, so much more gratifying, so much more fulfilling. From personal experience, I'll tell you, the Instagrams, the YouTubes, the drugs, the alcohol, they'll only get you so far, man. That life, it's not fulfilling. But the problem is that you don't realize that at that point. At least I didn't because I had never experienced having a purpose in life. I had never set goals and worked towards them, let alone achieve them at that point. I didn't know what it meant to live a life with purpose. You know what? To me, this channel is about authenticity and that includes the uncomfortable truths. 
especially if what is an uncomfortable truth for me could potentially help somebody else out so here goes i'm sorry mom i'm sorry dad let me just say that in my college days i dabbled a little on the extreme side with my drug use i would wake up with a bong hit first thing in the morning before i even brushed my teeth and a hit from the same bong would be the last thing i did before passing out eventually at like 1 am this was my all day almost every day throughout my college days until out of nowhere covid hit our country went into lockdown and we were all sent home now the way i have told that story before is that that was the end of my druggy days but anybody who relates with me anybody who's experienced that life knows that that is a big fat fucking lie it's not that easy is it i remember for over a month i would pace my room for entire nights craving the high i would wake up every morning hoping to see a notification from my college that it was reopening because at that point we were just told that we were going home for about 2 weeks or so around a month in i managed to land my hands on some green and started smoking on a nightly basis at home i remember getting so paranoid that my parents would wake up and catch me but even that wasn't enough to stop me over the next few months i went through all the stages of addiction i went through trying to quit but not being able to quit i remember every morning i would wake up and promise myself that just for that one night i would take a break just for that one night i wouldn't smoke but as soon as the clock hit 9 or 10 pm like a machine i would just go to the washroom roll up my joint and wait for my parents to fall asleep and around 6 months in i went into denial i started telling myself that i could stop any time i wanted to i just didn't want to stop i told myself that i would stop smoking once i left home as absurd as that sounds i wholeheartedly believed it at that point i told myself that i wasn't addicted it's just that i was bored and i didn't have anything better to do so i might as well do it do you want to know how i finally stopped no without even trying by the way because i was in my denial stage telling myself that i didn't need that i didn't have a problem in the first place i stopped when for the first time in my life i adopted a purpose i decided to give the gmat and i decided to do well at it for the first time in my life i set a goal for 4 or 5 months in the future and i wholeheartedly acknowledged that how i spent every day from that day onwards to test day is what would decide how test day went i realized that this day was going to come anyways now it could go one of two fuck me dude i realized that this day was going to come anyways now it could go one of two ways either how my entire life had gone by me doing miserably at it and having a million reasons to justify to everybody as well as to myself why i couldn't perform well or i could perform spectacularly at it and for the first time in my life prove to myself that i could do well at something that i was capable of doing well at something and i did it i did the latter i ended up scoring a 730 for context and i think i've already said this on video before but this fact just astounds me that the that the gmat the average gmat score of a harvard candidate is 730 how insane is that i was able to quit what would have been a lifelong drug addiction because i found something that would give me a greater dopamine spike than the drug and that something was picking a purpose and putting my 100% into it now that i've experienced what a purposeful life feels like i honestly wouldn't wish a purposeless life on my worst enemy it's only a purposeless man who can become addicted to drugs who can become an alcoholic who can get hooked to that party lifestyle because he feels incomplete that's the best word i can use to describe it he feels discontent with his life he feels unfulfilled he feels hollow inside if there's one thing you ever take away from my channel let it be this pick a goddamn purpose i say pick because any time i've talked to anybody about this almost 100% of the times the response i get is i haven't found my purpose is that i haven't found my calling bro you're not going to find your calling lying on bed watching netflix trust me on this pick a purpose 
pick anything but you have to pick something i realize how difficult this can be because by its very def- definition picking something means sacrificing everything else but the fact of the matter is if you don't pick anything that is the greater sacrifice with no potential upside see one thing i've realized is that effort invested into anything is never going to be a waste a month two months six months in to pursuing a purpose you might realize that that is not exactly what you want and you might slightly deviate or you might realize that that is not at all what you wanted so you take a u turn but if you're not moving or a vehicle that is not moving cannot go anywhere as long as you're moving you can steer the vehicle right or left you can take a u turn you can do whatever you want but you need to be moving somewhere you know i've thought about this quite a bit and i can confidently tell you that even if hypothetically i had ended up scoring terribly on the gmat if i had ended up getting a below average score i wouldn't have regretted a single second of that pursuit in fact i think i would have been as grateful for that experience as i am now see it's because of the gmat that i became productive for the first time in my life it's because of the gmat that i discovered a million productivity hacks it's because of it that i set a routine for the first time in my life It's because of it that I started going to the gym regularly. It's because of it that I started working on my mental health. If it wasn't for the GMAT, I never would have gotten off my bed. I never would have stopped procrastinating. If it wasn't for GMAT, I can confidently say that I wouldn't have been sitting here recording this video right now. I wouldn't have had a YouTube channel. Let me sum up this video in two points. Number 1, pick a purpose. and number 2 give your 100% to it wake up every morning looking forwards to taking a step towards your purpose and end every night feeling proud of the progress you made i promise you there's nothing more fulfilling than that i wish you all the best on your journey and i'll see you next sunday